Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. We have heartbreak. We have strike. It's a date. Okay. Reunion. Oh my gosh. Clarify heartbreak. A fresh start. So there has been some type of painful ending, a breakup. Somebody did hurt you, break your heart, or it was hard for you to move on from someone. Maybe you guys are going to be making major progress and being able to like detach from a situation or a person, move on from a situation or a person. I see you guys possibly even going on dates or dating somebody here, but it looks like it could possibly um, be a reconciliation energy here. Like you and somebody that you had a breakup with or somebody that did hurt you in the past, you guys reuniting because fear says the story isn't over for you and this person. Um, I know some of you guys are like, damn, but that's just what I'm seeing here. It's not over, Spirit says, okay? Um, it says this new chapter will require you to take a leap of faith in the process, which is in front of you, new beginning and new possibilities. This may be also a situation where you're going to need to end something with somebody, break up with a person, spend some time apart from that person, and then later after you guys, because there's something about the heartbreak or the breakup that's leading to some type of progress, because it says expect to see major project progress. Victory, conquering, winning, perfection, on track, accurate, faultless, yes, and direct in approach. So there's something about a breakup or a heartbreak that's leading to some type of progress. Yeah, we have door to power. Your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring great blessings to your life. So you guys maybe had to felt like you had to put your foot down with somebody. You may not even be this person that's heartbroken. It could be this person that you had to put your foot down with. Okay. So that you can see change within a situation. Because, yeah, we have in the air. And we have, it's a date. Appointment, meeting, in person, dating, want rendezvous, courtship, getting to know each other. And then we have in the air. The situation is still undecided. Somebody is undecided about whether or not they want to date you. Or if they want to actually put the effort and the work into you. Why is that? Because we have reunion here. We have alchemy. Yeah, the something. it's like what, the situation transforming into something else. Something different. The path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, changing, and shift, which is which will lead to the to a reunion. Okay, so let's clarify. It's a date and in the air. We have cleverness. Yeah, it's like it says carefully craft your next move to use the problem in, to your advantage. So you've been in a situation where somebody couldn't make up their mind about whether or not they wanted to put effort and work into you. Maybe you guys are going in. Now you're in this energy where you're like, I don't know if I want to put effort and work into you. Yeah, to use the to use the problem to your advantage, your cleverness will serve you well. Quick witted, crafty, and skillful. Let's see. We have rebuilding. Start it over, rebuild and rebuild stronger. Putting in the work, second chances, personal strength, working on it, persistence, overcoming challenges. Tell me more. We have path to plenty. You will have no problems getting what you need in life. You will be given more than enough abundance, luxury, and comfort. What does that do with whoever this person is? Yeah, we have rebuilding here again. Reevaluate your life. So maybe you're giving this person the opportunity to reevaluate their life. It says reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive in your new circumstances. Focus on what you can control. So maybe Spirit is also telling you to shift your focus onto your money, your abundance, things like that. I don't know. Let's see. Explore your options. Yeah, it's almost like Spirit is saying that, you know, it's almost like you being in this energy where you're not sure about them anymore is actually because they were acting like they weren't sure about you. Now you're in this energy where you're not sure about them and it's they're heartbroken over this, but that's not fair. Why did they want you to be all about? Yeah, they put you in a love triangle. Some of you, it's just like you guys, you're you in this energy where you're not sure about them anymore and you're going to be open to exploring other options or an option, okay? It says exploring different options, but I feel like they're getting a taste of their own medicine because they did this to you. Now they have the audacity to be heartbroken because you're exploring your options. So now they're kind, they're not, now they're going to see how it feels because they did this to you. Sometimes people don't learn or understand. They can't truly have empathy for you until they've been through what, you, what you've been through. And this is this person's going to start feeling some type of way because they're going to be like, damn, I did this to the collective. And I now I see how it feels. Give me a few more cards. It's teaching them a lesson. We have, yeah, leading to wish fulfillment, wish granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in the manifestation process. Because this person was benefiting off of you being all about them while they weren't sure about you. That's definitely, that was not okay, okay? 
We have secrets, keeping something secret. Closed book, mystery, private, unrevealed information, hidden in disguise. Yeah, they're being sneaky. Oh, heart and key. It's safe for you to love. Open to love, perfect match, meeting the one. What about that? Next level. So what you guys maybe don't know yet is that like a door that was once closed or locked is opening. It's unlocking and it's opening. Yeah, if you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change. What does that do with secrets though? What's the secret aspect? We have between worlds. Yeah, somebody not knowing if they want to go down one path or the other path, caught in between two paths. There is one reality that is slowly, slowly dying to the one still waiting to be born. Yeah. Give me a few more in regards to the secret aspect. Triggers. And we have small steps. So maybe you you guys are in this energy where you somebody has your heart, but you're not really letting them know that. But the problem is, is that I feel like that person did that to you too. We're going to take a look to see why. But I feel like you and this person can both be in this energy where you're not, you're keeping your feelings really close to your heart. You're not telling each other. You're not expressing each, which maybe at some point you did express your love to this person. And I see that they didn't. Okay. Um, so we have a challenging connection here. Lessons. Yep. Unhealthy, pushing, karmic relationship, chaotic, provoked, unbalanced, and fleeting. And we have small steps. The small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories. Celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow, steady, careful actions. Yeah, momentum. Something's gaining momentum. Keep the momentum going, whether big or small steps. Spirit says something may be moving slowly, but it's still moving. But I think things are about to, to pick up. Like the pace is about to pick up. Why is that? Why is this thing speeding up here? If you have music, it says tune in because someone's getting into their feelings. It says tune into your heart. Music can be significant. You could be getting downloads through music. Uh, it says fun times, dance, listen, harmonious, blend, high vibrations, in tune. It could also be because you guys have gotten into the vibration of what it is that you've been trying to manifest. But yeah, I feel like someone's getting into their feelings and emotions because they're heartbroken over you right now. Because they're getting a taste of their own medicine. We have resurrection. It says shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from the ashes even more powerful. Somebody's going to be back. Somebody will be back, okay? Thwarted plans. It says, sharpen your will and persevere. It will not cause any long-term negative consequences, delays. Yeah, there's been delays. There's been interference. There's been disruptions. But we have crystal clear. It's like the path is becoming clear. It's time to see your life and its limitless potential without seeing through your rose-tinted glasses. There was a need to, like, come to terms with the reality of the situation. Yeah, see the truth of the situation. What's that mean for this person? We have spiritual tests and apology. Ooh. And back of that, we have marriage. So this person has marriage on their mind, or they will be having marriage on their mind at some point, taking things to the next level with you, coming in, into a new love loss. I'm telling you, this is their test. They have to come in and apologize to make this right with you. They have to. You're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts so you may grow and evolve spiritually. Inner work, awareness, and calling. So I've seen them doing some inner work here. Yeah, I feel like they're coming into a, a more of an awareness of like what they did wrong and what this connection was to them and what they're supposed to be doing and things like that. But they, they feel like they're supposed to be with you. But it says coming into renew love, loss, forgiveness, returning, gift, not over, closure, confession, regrets, making things right. So give me one more card to tell me what is pushing this person into this, realizing how badly they messed up here. We have wide open. What's making them get into this wide open energy? What are they? We have hard work. The hard, your, the hard work will be rewarded. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. And we have wide open. The path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. What's going to do with them though? Them specifically. We have pause and reflect. Yeah, because you're giving this person the opportunity to pause and reflect because there's something that you're doing here. I don't know if you walked away from them. There's something that's happening here. I, you're definitely to choose and to keep your options open or explore other options. And it says, be mindful of your self-talk and solve your problems with the fullest mental clarity. Stagnation, release, stillness, pause and reflect. So it's going to be important to allow the separation and the stillness to occur because that's the only way that they're going to reflect. All right. So I do see after a period of reflection, this person will be realizing how badly they messed up and they will be want to make amends with you. Let's get some tarot out here. If I can find the deck. What did this person, yeah, the nine of swords showing itself to me. This person is stressed out over you. But that card literally says pain is essential for growth. This pain that they're feeling, who had a reading like this? 
I did a reading like I think last week that says like they're heartbroken, but this is exactly where they need to be or what they need to feel or something like that. Yeah, it's the same energy. I don't remember what sign that was for, but that's what's going on here. This person, um, they hurt you, and now they're getting an opportunity to feel how they made you feel. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. So this is the way that the only way that they're gonna learn this lesson. Now they are in your shoes. Now they are in your position. I just saw 11-11 on the camera. So we have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We have pause and... What am I... I was going to say pause and reflect. I don't know why. Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, cards are just flying everywhere. We have the World, Libra energy. We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. All right, tell me about the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands. Hmm. Ooh, you got a lot of people that want you. Yeah, there, I don't know if you guys are fire signs. You could be or have fire birth chart placements, but there's a lot of people that find you very attractive and that want you, okay? You're getting a lot of attention or you will be getting a lot of attention. There could even be people fighting over you or this person will, may want to have, they may feel that they have to come in and compete for you now, Okay. Clarify the page of pentacles. We have the four of swords. Yeah, it's like you will hear from this person after a period of no contact. Or like once you've withdrawn for a, a long period of time, you will hear from them. Yeah. You will receive a message. They will try to initiate a new opportunity with you. The world. I feel like some of you guys are staying away from this person too because you feel like right now they are just, they're too immature and they don't really have anything to offer you. We have the three of wands. Hmm. It's almost just like one cycle's closing out and anticipating the next one beginning or the next, what's happening next or what's coming in next. King of Cups, the Three of Swords. I'm telling you, this whoever this water sign is, they're heartbroken over you. Well, this person is that either is a water sign or they're, they're, they just have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. But it's funny because we have alchemy here. This pain is going to be an alchemy. This feeling, these, this, this heartbreak that they're experiencing is going to lead to some type of change shift transition yeah this is this is exactly what they need to feel so what does this mean for my collective look at this four of wands so you do have like some type of marriage commitment family situation that's manifest we have the two of swords though and the eight of oh maybe there's something that's blocking this with the four of wands the two of swords and the eight of pentacles or you guys can't see that something is being built or like it's being worked on or worked out behind the scenes type thing yeah, we have Ace of Cups on the back of the deck. Give me a few more. We have the, It's like somebody has the intention to come back towards you, but it's like they're not telling you. They're working on something here. They're working on being able to come towards you with more, with a stable offer, but it's like you guys can't see it. Yeah, look at this. this person wants to spoil you. They want to give to you. They want to, they want to be able to have the ability to have an equal give and take with you, but maybe this person feels like to be able to have that with you, they're going to have to release some things. They're going to have to let go of some baggage, so close out some cycles. Yeah, give me a few more. We have the Eight of Wands, and maybe they feel like they need to do that quickly. They got to release some things quickly. We have the King of Swords here. Maybe you overhear from somebody here, the Nine of Wands. What about the Nine of Wands? You may hear from them, the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're still like, I don't know. Are they going to reach out? What's the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords? The Chariot. I feel like you may hear from this person. Queen of Pentacles. And the sun. What's that with you? The ace of swords. Okay. And what's that? Well, the, they're going to express some type of regret to you. They're going to, I don't know if it's because they moved towards somebody else or what, or like they feel like they, they fumbled you or something like that, but they were definitely juggling you. And I think that they regret it. They were weighing their options. They didn't know if they wanted to be with you or somebody else, or if they wanted to be with you or be single and available and I think that they're going to express this to you at some point, express to you at some point that they have regrets about this. Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy, and the they were toxic and they were deceptive and hiding shit from you. Yes, trying to get away with some shit. We have the full and the ten of cups. What about the ten of cups, though? The Hierophant, what's the deal? The Wheel of Fortune, things are changing. Yeah, look at this. This person's becoming more stable. It's like they're starting to get more on your level, but it's only because they're heartbroken. It's only because they're they're experiencing what they put you through. Yeah. This person doesn't want to let you go. Let's get a few oracle cards.
Hold on. I'm telling you, the decks have just been crazy. Falling all over the place. All right, hold up. All right. Oh gosh, that card really wants to come out. It keeps falling over. What is it trying to show me? All consumed, there is an unhealthy obsession with the idea of love. I think this person's a little bit becoming obsessed with you. I cannot find your level of intimacy anywhere else. So that could be like the closeness, the 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 deep, the you know, the depth of this connection, or it could be you know they feel like you, the sex is really good with you and they can't find that anywhere else. This is how we've always been. What? I keep my making the same mistake each lifetime. So whatever you and this person are going through this to lifetime, Spirit is saying this is how it's always been between you and this person. But are we breaking the cycle this lifetime? It looks like we may be, okay? Do you think, of me, think about me like I think of you? Boredom. This person wants, is starting to want more out of life. Hidden motives, though. That, okay. So this card kept falling off the deck and it says hidden agenda. Ulterior motives and intentions will affect the outcome. What is that about? Hidden motives? I keep tabs on you from afar. Hidden motives. It's almost just like, I'm sorry, isn't enough. The ulterior, it's not a bad hidden motive. What it is, is that this person is planning to come towards you and offer you something else, something better. But they're, didn't I say that earlier? They're not telling you. It's like they've always had that intention, but I feel like they really didn't have a fire lit under their ass to do it in a timely manner before. Now they do feel like they need to hurry up and get shit done. What you require, I cannot provide. Exactly. It's like they want to come towards you with something more. Like they know that they can't give you what you deserve right now. Yeah. Didn't I say they're immature? Immaturity. We have without you, I am nothing. Give me one more. I feel used. Why, why do you, I feel used? Marriage material. It's almost like this person is trying to say that like, they know that they, you guys could feel used by this person because this person did not have the maturity to handle. They didn't know how to handle somebody that was marriage material. Because says what you require, I cannot provide. So it's like they didn't handle you properly. And they like, and so let me, you know, more clarify on I feel used. I would have done anything for you. What? I think that's you guys. I'm telling you, I want to be enough for you. It's like you guys are willing to do anything for this person and they took advantage of that. Like they took advantage of how much they knew that you loved and cared about them. And that's not okay. But it's like they want to be more for you. Like I said, i rather have something than nothing. So this person, yeah, we are not compatible. They chose somebody over you. Yeah, let's mend things rumors and gossip they could have went back and reconciled with somebody look suffering in silence now they're suffering with whoever that person is they went back to somebody because and they felt like if they couldn't have you then this is somebody that doesn't know how to be single they don't know how to be alone so they went just back to somebody it looks like just to be with somebody to not be alone but they're not compatible with this person but it is somebody that they reconciled with with less men things and they probably did this because people were there was rumors and gossiping people influencing them to go back to this person um, and now they're suffering in silence. Yeah. Emotionally detached. They don't have any feelings for this person. Wow. Wow.